Well, hello everybody, Doug Rucker here with PressureCleaningSchool.com and DougRuckerStore.com. Hey, we just built this trailer rig for a local company. I'm going to walk you through it coming up next. All right, so what we have here in this 12 foot enclosed trailer, this is a uh, rig that a local company, actually a local roofing company, wanted us to build for them so that they can get into roof cleaning, pressure washing, uh, pretty much doing everything. But uh, this is what we have for them. We've got the nine gallon per minute Mad Max cold water pressure washer coupled with the Whisper Wash Little big guy 24 inch surface cleaner uh, that's my favorite surface cleaner and the one I use uh, on a daily basis and so we've got that and we've got the uh, 225 gallon water tank which is plumbed over here to the pressure washer and of course then we've got uh, the small hose is the bypass hose that goes back to the tank uh, for the bypass of the pressure washer and at the bottom here, we did uh, started doing a neat thing here on a few builds ago. Um, but we used the banjo uh, for the water inlet. That way, that can be disconnected. Water can be drained out. Wash your hands with it. Emergency eye station um, if you need to flush your eyes or whatever. But we've got that so that you know mainly so that you can drain your water out if you've got too much water in your tank before you leave the job site it's an easy way to uh, drain your tank so that's the nine gallon per minute uh, with the, a gas tank that we provided for them this machine does not come with a gas tank or a battery and so uh, we got that for them hooked it all up and then of course the 24 inch little big guy so that's the back of the trailer the trailer has a ramp we also sealed the floor for them so that uh, we don't have any issues in case bleach spills or water gets on it or whatever. Uh, just help the wood flooring last a little bit longer. And so next we'll go around to the uh, side door and show you that part. Okay, so here we've got uh, the stack reel, the bottom of the stack reel is the garden hose which will fill the tank and so the way we've got that plumbed is we've got a three-way here so the water is going to come in uh, off the garden hose and we've got it plumbed to this three-way um, if you have it in this direction it's going to fill the water tank on the water tank we put a float valve actually in the lid to give a little bit more room so that you don't lose that you know 15 or 20 gallons in the tank um, seems to work out pretty well on the ones that we've done and so uh, just kind of utilize the space a little bit better and also allow you to keep um, maximum gallons in the tank when you're filling up and then the other valve side here is a garden hose 25 foot flexilla hose and that's kind of a a hose you can use again to wash your hands out, uh, wet something down if you need to, fill a five gallon bucket, um, just pretty much a utility hose that you can use for uh, anything that you need to if you get a spill in the truck while somebody's working. The one thing you have to keep in mind is uh, when you use this and you switch it over to use the garden hose, make sure that when you're done you switch it back so it continues to replenish water back into the tank ask me how I know this from experience um, don't forget to do that so uh, that's how the garden hose uh, the water feed is plumbed next we have the soft wash hose 200 feet of ag hose um, this hose you can get right off of our website then we've got the ball valve gun and then of course the nozzles um, these are the nozzles off my truck unit but um, I've got to get them their nozzles on there and so that is plumbed directly to the uh, Kingslinger soft wash 10 gallon per minute system, which I'll go over in just a minute. And then up here we have the high pressure hose, 200 feet of uh, one wire, 3 8 hose with the ball valve setup. 
which has your Mossmatic swivel and the ball valve and all of that. And then we have a bypass downstream injector set up here so that you can downstream if you need to. And then we've also got it hooked to a little two-way valve here so that as you're uh, drawing your bleach, um, you can switch this over to just water and then it will draw water and rinse your injector out every time you're rinsing the house or concrete or whatever you're using for. So um, that's how that is set up. And then, uh, of course, we've got their adjustable gun. Comes pretty much stock with any uh, trailer build we sell. And then their power wash, uh, pressure wash gun assembly for downstreaming as well. Okay guys, this is the King Slinger soft wash system. This has the 10 gallon per minute uh, pump. And we've also got the mixing station, the three valve uh, Duganator mixing system. What we do, and I've always done on my rigs, but I also highly suggest this, and I've been suggesting this probably since shortly we came out with these about a year and a half, two years ago. But we only uh, plumb the water and the bleach tank, I just always suggest to go with a two valve system. As a matter of fact, we've sold a lot of these. It's not on our website, but we've sold quite a few of these for a while just in two valve systems when people ask for it. The third valve here, right here, that's capped off. So we don't use that one. All we do is add our soap to our bleach. I've just never found the need to meter my soap um we use the same amount of soap whether we're cleaning a house whether we're cleaning a roof it just you know never really needed to turn a dial to get more suds or more soap or whatever so that's how we build these and then you've got a standby valve in case one of these valves cracks or a check valve goes bad or whatever you can always switch on the fly on the job and finish your uh, job up if something goes wrong with one of these other two valves or um, it's great to have that third valve there if you want to you know uh, create some wrap make a bucket of wrap up to clean gutters or degreaser for oil stains or whatever so hey guys if this video has been helpful to you hey make sure you subscribe hit the like button and hit that little bell that way you get a notification every time i come on with helpful hints tips and tricks um, anything that you may need thanks so much for watching and leave a question or a comment down below if I can help you in any way. When you're using just a two valve system, the most important thing to remember is always just eliminate the soap valve. Don't eliminate the water valve. I know a lot of people suggest that you don't need to meter the water, but I found it's important to meter the water because if I've got the water all the way on five and the bleach on five, that's about a 50-50 mix. So this gives me the ability, if I need to, to turn the water down a little bit and even go stronger than 50-50. I think the least important thing that you need to meter is the soap. Again, I've just found no reason to meter soap. Um, we just throw that in with our bleach mix. And of course, we go through it fast enough and we use the King Sling soap where it's not gonna kill the mix. Um, so that's my recommendation. If you've got a valve that you wanna eliminate, just eliminate the soap valve. Um, you'll find a lot less headaches, a lot less time having to fill up a soap bucket um, because these meters will draw soap pretty quick and you'll just save yourself a lot of time, a lot of headaches out on the job site. So that's the King Slinger system. And uh, next I'll show you the, get into the trailer and show you the plumbing on the tank so that you know how we do that. Okay guys, one of the things that we do also when we're building uh, rigs like this um, and on the King Slingers pressure washers, when we're building a rig, not when we're necessarily just shipping one out um, that's being bought individually, um, is we replace the oil in the machines, uh, air compressor and the pressure washers. And I use this uh, high performance lubricant brand oil this is a business that is right across the way from me. And the reason that I do this is because I've just been so impressed with their oils. I actually use them in all of our trucks as well as my personal vehicles. Um, they just run so much better. 
um, less frequent oil changes that I have to do. It's just a higher grade, higher quality oil. Um, <clears throat> and I even noticed, you know, when our trucks and our cars are changed with this oil, they just run so much smoother. The gas mileage is better. Um, and you know, the first time I ever did it, it actually took the second time, uh, because this oil actually flushed all the stuff out from the old oil that it was in there. But anyway, it, when I picked it up, it felt like the car had had a tune up. It was just so much smoother. But, um, one of the things that this oil does on the pressure washers is you only really need to, um, and the compressors, you really only need to change your oil once a year. You don't have to do it every 100 hours or however many hours the uh, manufacturer states in their manual. Now, the only problem with that is if something happens, they could say, you know, you didn't change the oil every 100 hours. Um, so we're not going to, uh, you know, repair it under warranty. But that's very rare that that's, not, that's ever going to happen because this is, you're never going to have a problem due to the oil with this oil. Um, so that's just something that we do that's a little bit more expensive. You can buy this oil from us on our website, DougRuckerStore.com, if you'd like. I highly recommend it. Um, they have oils for diesel engines, compressors, pumps, anything that you could need, race cars, all that kind of stuff. This uh, little lubricant, I started using it way better than WD-40 or any other type of spray lubricant out there. Um, I don't make hardly anything off of these. We may make a dollar or two off of it. I'm not doing it to make money. I'm doing it because I believe in the product, okay? Um, so <clears throat> just something for you to consider, but every machine that goes out of here, we don't charge extra for it. Um, this is the oil and the lubricants that we use for those uh, machines and for those rig builds, all right? So uh, if you have any questions on that, hey, let me know. So Thanks. I kind of went over the plumbing on uh, the water tank for the pressure washer. So again, we've got it plumbed, uh, the float valve for the water tank. So that float valve, when you're filling the water up, gets to that float valve and will actually shut the water flow off so it doesn't overfill. And then over here is the bypass hose that's going back to the pressure washer. Over here, we've got a half inch hose on this side, on the left side, that's going to the king slinger to draw the water. And then the other one is the quarter inch hose to draw water when you're downstreaming using the bypass injector and using the little valve down there, the two-way valve for rinsing the injector out as well. And so that'll just help your uh, downstream injector valve last much longer. We do sell a check valve also that you can put on to the downstream injector at the bottom of it. Um, we did not uh, suggest one for this customer, but normally we do. And that will just go at the bottom, remove the bottom spring, and uh, that will even make the downstream injector last much longer, as well as provide you a stronger mix. And then this is the bleach tank. And so it's pretty much the same thing here. We've got a half inch hose here that's going down to the King Slinger. And then we've got a quarter inch hose again that's going to the valve down here for the uh, bypass injector and then we've got a hose here that's a vent hose and this hose just goes down and goes through the bottom so that the fumes and the gases vent out of the tank we designed these so that you never have to take this lid off to put bleach in and i'll show you how uh, we designed these so that you can fill this without having to get inside the trailer or anything like that. Um, and then this hose here is a hose that is for filling the tank, this tank with bleach. And so there's a half inch hose that runs over the here. We've got a ball valve on it. And then from wherever you're filling your bleach up from a tank outside, of the trailer. You can just hook your hose up to this. It's all cam locked. Um, fire up your compressor or your 12 volt, fill it up. And then this actually fills from the bottom of the tank. 
with hose that goes all the way to the bottom so if you have soap in here you're not going to get suds coming all up and all of that type of thing um, and then of course all the other hoses are all drop tubed we just got clear braided hose running down we don't have pvc pipes but we have pieces of pvc to keep them weighted down and of course the vent hose has no hose going down because we don't need a hose in it it's just taking the gases off of the tank and sending it straight down through the floorboard down to through the bottom of the trailer and so that's the plumbing on the water tank and the plumbing on the bleach tank hey these little wheel chucks to hold the surface cleaner we got from harbor freight they work really well We'll see how long they last. Not sure, but uh, just something we found and wanted to try out. And then also create a little space here behind the reels for any type of storage for five gallon buckets, gallon jugs, whatever. And then of course the customer's happy taking off. Hey, if we can help you with the trailer rig, just give us a shout. We'll be glad to help you. Y'all have an awesome day.